Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Huber, diving coach at Indiana University. Um, today I'd like to talk about probably the most important aspect, or one of the most important aspects of our sport, the forward hurdle. I'm going to go through some uh, important aspects of the hurdle and would encourage you to really work as hard as, as you can on the hurdle because 90% of doing a good dive is really just setting up and, and taking a good hurdle. Yeah, the first thing that you want to do in the, in the forward hurdle is, is, is assume the correct stance. If you watch here on the, the tape of Brian Mariano, an Indiana University diver, has uh, got very nice form. His head's slightly down a little bit more than I'd like, but if you notice, his hands are on his side, his stomach's flat, hips are underneath him, so his back's flat, and he's got a nice hollow position where his uh, chest is not sticking out, his rib cage isn't sticking out. His shoulders are fairly square, but he looks somewhat relaxed, so it's a very, very nice position to uh, start with. And notice that as he goes into his last step, how early he gets his arms back. Actually, before he starts his step, his arms are back. So when he contacts the board in his last step, his arms are already all the way back. And notice, too, that he's, he really stays over that last step. He's coming wide, and the arms that come up actually be, be slightly before the knee. And see how he stays over that? His shoulders are staying over his uh, last step. He has no pull with the shoulders. He's, doing, he's swinging the arms without moving the, the shoulders or upper body. And notice again uh, how high that knee gets up with Brian. He's got it up actually above horizontal. Once the knee goes down, you want to have the, feel your, your, your shoulders kind of shrug up so that, that you're, you show a good straight line prior to your descent to the board and then b before you start to swing your arms. And he's got his arms up at the bottom of the press. They're a little bit wide. I'd like to see them just a little bit narrower on that. But again, very good extension right there. Again, notice a very high knee in the hurdle. Very, very important. And notice the classic position there is that uh, Brian's got his arms all the way up to 12 o'clock before his foot his foot that he pushes off the board with, it lo loses contact with the board. Again, notice how he's really stepped down here at the top of his hurdle. He's up in the air, his arms are still up, he's, he's stepped all the way down and he shrugged. And that's a, another classic position, but that's a real critical part of the, of the hurdle. That keeps getting your arms up early before you, you leave the board and driving your knee up will keep you uh, from jumping over the end. As soon as he starts his descent, now he's going to begin to swing his arms through as he drops to the end of the board. You want to watch the end of the board until you just about make contact and then look up. And then a classic position is uh, when he f makes contact, when those feet are flat on the board, his arms are going to be down by his hips. Notice his feet are on, on the end of the board, they're not back. And Brian's got a real good position here. The board's all the way down. His arms are at 12 o'clock, and that's just a perfect position. We'd like to see his arms just a little bit straighter here, but other than that, it's pretty good. This is Brian just from another angle. Notice his arms are a little wide. We try to keep Brian, Brian's arm position wide because he's tight in the shoulders, and when he comes up and brings them up closer together, he tends to arch his back a little bit. I'd like to make some closing remarks about the forward approach. Uh, first of all, remember that it's, it's probably the first thing that you're going to learn, but the last thing that you're going to master. It is by far the most difficult part of diving. And uh, some people overlook that and uh, tend to not work the hurdle. And the, the hurdle is something you have to work on literally every single practice. I know here at, at, at IU, the first thing we do in the morning is we start on, on uh, hurdles on the dry land board. If you don't have a dry land board, one meter springboard's just fine, but it takes a lot of work. The other thing that's important that you, to remember is that you have to separate the hurdle from the dive. Uh, most divers, as they get out in their last step, start thinking about the dive rather than focusing on getting to the end of the board and setting up with a good hurdle. You don't necessarily need a great hurdle to do a very, very good dive, but you certainly need a decent one. And I think, especially in competition, it's uh, critical that you focus on the end of the board and set up with that. The, the other thing is to remember that it's, it's, uh, it's technique, not just power, and you want to be able to use the technique and the laws of physics to, to allow you to really ride that board. 
And, and finally, the other thing is, is perhaps most important is getting to what I call that magic position where the board's all the way down and the arms are at 12 o'clock. If you get there, you'll, you'll have a sensation that, uh, or a sense that a lot of divers do that right before they leave the board, they, they sense that they're going to do a great dive. And that's basically because they've set the dive up, they've done all the work. When you get to that position, the, the rest of the dive is easy. So good luck with your, your progress and, and I hope you have great hurdles.